This video will serve as a brief overview on how to connect the FX30 unit to a SoundPro microphone. Included in the box you received are the following components seen now on screen, including the FX30 unit itself, a serial cable, a power adapter for the FX30, as well as two antenna, a cellular network antenna, as well as a GPS antenna. Now let's take a closer look at the FX30 unit itself. On the front of the FX30, it can be seen that there are two LED lights, the leftmost of which will be referred to as the user LED, which will be used to communicate the status of the FX30 to the user. The LED on the right, referred to as the network light, will indicate whether or not there is currently a cellular network connection. Now if we rotate the FX30 unit to the right, we can see that it has several ports on this side, including a serial port for receiving data, a power cable port, and a micro USB cable port. On the opposite side of the FX30, it can be seen that there are two ports where we'll attach our antenna. The leftmost port is for the GPS antenna, while the rightmost port is for the cellular network antenna. Okay, and we'll begin by taking a look at the two ports on the back of the FX30, one for the network and one for the GPS antenna. We'll begin by taking the cellular network antenna and connecting it to its port. And we'll repeat that process for the GPS antenna. Okay, and after connecting the two antennas to the FX30, we'll now take the serial cable and connect it to the serial port of the FX30. Okay, we'll then go ahead and screw in the sides of the serial cable to ensure that it remains attached to the FX30. Now that we've connected the serial cable to the FX30, we'll take the device, the SoundPro microphone, and connect the serial cable on the FX30 to the input of the microphone. We'll take the FX30's power adapter and connect it to the back of the FX30. Next we'll just take the uh, adapter and connect it to the outlet. And now you can see that there's a red light illuminated on the FX30. This indicates that it is powered, but it has yet to find a network connection. Once it does, it will turn yellow as seen there. Finally, we'll take the power adapter for the SoundPro microphone and connect it to the device. In order to begin transmitting data from the SoundPro to the FX30, we'll first ensure that the proper logging options are set. We'll do that by pressing the escape button, then selecting setup from the menu screen, then navigating to comset, selecting that, then changing the RS-232 field from Serial to Log PRN, and then ensuring that the baud rate is set to 4800. And once we verify this, we'll press the Escape button twice, then navigate up to View Current Study, and we're ready to begin sending data to the FX30. Now that we've ensured that we have the correct logging options to begin transmitting data, let's just briefly review how to play, pause, and stop sessions. If I press the play button in the bottom left corner, you can see that that symbol changes to the play icon. And I can pause it by pressing that exact same button. Now to clear this current session, I can press the stop button and hold it down for three seconds as seen on the screen. And there we go, the data is cleared. Now that we're ready to begin transmitting data from the soundpro to the FX30, we'll briefly review the LED patterns that are used to communicate its status. The first of these LED patterns is a brief yellow blink that occurs when you power on the FX30, seen there, that indicates that it's ready to receive data. The next LED pattern that can be seen on the FX30 is a series of three green blinks that occur once play is pressed on the microphone, seen there. This indicates that the data transmission has begun. 
Once the data transmission from the sound pro to the FX30 has begun, we will see six green blinks there, indicating that a data payload has been received by the FX30. If the sound pro becomes disconnected from the FX30, which we'll do now, after one data transmission interval, a solid red light will appear on the user LED of the FX30, which after a brief moment of time we can see appearing now. If this solid red LED is detected, first connect the sound probe back into the serial port of the FX30, then pause the session on the sound probe, and then press play once again and ensure that you see three green LED blinks 